Hello, dear viewers. Today we're going to be talking about uh, several aspects of imagery intelligence uh, within the scope of our solution. Uh, the first instance that we're going to show is using facial recognition uh, on an interval red notice. Then we're going to go over to using reverse image search, specifically Yandex images and Google Lens to determine uh, location uh, where a certain photograph had been taken. And last, we're going to show you how our object detection works in uh, the context of uh, looking into a large number of photographs within Facebook. So let's get started. So the first example that we're going with is working with Interpol red notices. We see several person entities here with names from which we got the respective red notices uh, issued on the behalf of several countries. We see the photographs of those individuals input into our facial recognition start entities and the timestamps, which are in this case, dates of birth. Let's try to apply the facial recognition transforms to the first one. So we did Facebook search by face and name, got one output object. We can see some properties. And now we're going to extract additional things, additional details from this profile that we have on the graph. We're going to get the last activity date, stated location, and try to get places of education and work, as well as relatives and people studied with. We see a location within Bolivia. And the nationality of the individual is stated to be Bolivian within the red notice. On to the next example, uh, we uh, drag and drop the facial rec entity. Input the URL into the appropriate field. and paste the name into the other field. Connect those entities logically. And run the same transform from uh, that input object. This gives us an account for which we can see the photograph, the stated name, username, and Facebook ID. Now again, we're going into the run view and running the same transforms as we did for the previous example, as well as facial recognition searches into other platforms. And now on to our third example, as we are waiting for the results from the second one. We search for accounts within Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. The transforms are running at the moment. And we get Facebook with the first and last name, Elmer Barahona. Probability rate is set to 65% here. Photograph does seem similar. And the nationality here is El Salvador. 
let's try to get some more insights using the transforms that we're choosing now. Now we're waiting for the rest of the results. And we get another account with the screen name Manuel Barajona and a slightly lower probability rate and this account is in TikTok. So further we get the followees and posts liked by the individual. Then from the posts we go to the comments and details. And we'll try to get the details from all of the followees and followers which we've extracted now. So we can see the music listed in those TikTok posts. We can see the screen names and aliases of the people within the TikTok network of the individual. So this was an example on working with uh, facial recognition in the context of Interpol Red Notices. Our second example is going to focus on reverse image searches. So here we have an image of a large fork in a body of water. We open the run view, we set the output limit slightly higher, and we choose image reverse search and image search in Google. This gives us 154 URLs as output. Let's see if there's a common pattern recurring there. And select those objects to separate them from the rest. So far we see a lot about Lake Geneva and a town of Beve. And we're selecting those URLs. And pinning them to the graph. There are travel reviews, articles, and social media posts. If we do a quick find, then the word Veve will be in at this point 49 objects in total within this graph. So it's a kind of a recurring pattern that we can see. Now we create a separate city entity and fill in the fields of city, country, and country code, which is the Swiss one, CH. This is the image here. and we can act it logically.
labeling the link picture likely taken in Veve, Switzerland. And unpinning the images so they take up less space. That was an example of working with reverse image searches. And those 49 URLs are those where Veve is mentioned. Our next example will be focused on object detection in the context of working with a large volume of visual content in social media. So we have a graph uh, focused on uh, people from a certain Mexican organization and their presence within Facebook. We have bookmarked some photographs. And now let's choose image gun detector. An object gun appears with a probability rate set. We can see those photographs here. And further, we select the total of 80 photographs and choose gun detector. The transform is running now. As you can see, there is also an option in uh, the transforms run view in the sidebar for card detection, uh, but right now we're focusing more on firearms. And now we choose gun. We add the parent entities, which have incoming connections to it. And we get the offers, commenters, comments, details, reactions, and reposts under those pictures. Based on this, we can do further research on the authoring account and its network. And in case uh, of those people being part of a broader group, see if they are a certain cluster or subcluster. The next level of depth for us is to take the comments and get the offers, reactions, and replies from them. To deepen the data set and make it more insightful within the context of our investigation. This was our example for using object detection and uh, specifically using it within the context of Sockment.